Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I previously posted some videos on wiring single pole switches as well as three-way switches. Today I am going to show you how to change a single pole light switch into a three-way switch. This is a single pole switch. The light can be turned on or off only from one location. When you walk down the hall, you have to come back and turn off this light. What if there were another switch down the hall so that you can turn on the light from here and turn off the light from there so you don't have to come back to turn off the lights. That's what I'm going to show you today how to change a single pole light switch into a three-way switch so you can control the same light from two different locations. So let's get started. This is an important caution. The procedure shown in this video is for information and education purposes only. If you are not comfortable working with electrical wiring or electrical equipment, I would strongly suggest that you hire a licensed electrician. Before undertaking any kind of electrical work, always make sure that you follow your local electrical safety code. For changing a single pole switch to a three-way switch, we will need two three-way switches and sufficient length of 14-3 wire. At the same time, you will also need a single gang box or a J box for a single outlet. At this point, I would like to show you the difference between a single pole switch and a three-way switch. Look at these two switches. From the front, they seem to be very similar to each other, but they are not. This is the single pole switch, and on the right side, you see two brass screws. The incoming black hot wire is connected to the bottom screw, and the outgoing black load wire is connected to the top screw. When the switch is turned on, these two terminals get connected, and that's all about it. But in a three-way switch, on the right side you will see one black screw and one brass screw. And there is a brass screw on the other side as well. We normally connect the incoming line wire, black hot wire you can say, or the outgoing black wire which goes to the load or the light to this black screw. And there are two traveler wires, normally black and red. They are connected to the brass screws, one on left and one on right. And both of these switches have a green ground terminal here. Let's talk about 14-2 wire and 14-3 wire. This is a standard 14-2 wire. There is a black wire which is normally hot. There is a ground wire which is bare copper and there is a white wire and this one is the neutral. In a 14-3 wire you will see four conductors. Bare copper ground, black and red they are traveler wires and the white wire is the neutral wire. Before starting this installation, you have to decide about the location of the new switch and how you will be running the wires behind the finished walls. I am not getting into the details of how you will run the wires behind the finished walls. There are several nice videos on this topic on YouTube. The focus of this video is to explain you the wiring connections. And one more important thing, if the existing wiring is a 12 gauge wire, in other words, you are working on a 20 ampere circuit, then the new wire will also be 12-3 wire instead of 14-3 wire. 14 gauge wire is used for 15 ampere circuits and 12 gauge wire is used for 20 ampere circuits. So make sure you check the wire gauge. Safety first, locate the circuit breaker for this light and turn it off. With circuit breaker off, safely remove the cover plate and the switch. I will use my client tools non-contact voltage tester to make sure that the power is off. There is no power so it is safe to remove the switch. Check one more time that there is no power in any of these two wires. Check inside as well. There may be other wires which are carrying power. So I can see two black wires connected to the brass screws of the switch, three ground wires and two white neutral wires. In some old installations, you might notice that there are black and white wires instead of two black wires and there is no neutral wire in the box. Also, the switch is not grounded as you see here, but that's fine. Having a neutral wire in the box is good. This allows you to install smart switches in future. Even if you do not have white wires in the box, that's fine. We don't need that for this project. Now we have two black wires connected to this switch. Which of these two black wires is line and which of these is connected to this switch? We will have to find out. I 
have covered the black wires with Vago lever nut connectors. Now I will turn on power and use my non-contact voltage tester to find out which of them is the line wire. I just turned on power temporarily. So here the voltage tester is showing me voltage. So this particular wire is bringing in power to the POC. I will turn off the power again and place some kind of marker on this wire. Now this white tape indicates that this is the line wire. Next I need a 14-3 wire from this switch box to the next switch box. I'll do that off camera. This is my new 14-3 wire running from the existing switch box to the new switch box. Here we have bare copper ground, white neutral, black and red traveler wires. The same wire is shown here, bare copper ground, white neutral and black and red traveler wires. We do not need to remove this wire, it will stay as is. I have also placed labels here so you can easily recognize. 14 to wire to light, this is our existing wire, we are not disturbing it. New 14-3 wire, switch 1 to switch 2 and 14-2 wire. This is also existing wire which is bringing in power to the existing switch box. These two white wires, one is from this 14 to wire which brings in power and the other one is from this 14 to which is going to the light. We do not need to disturb this connection so it will stay as is. I will now strip these wires to make them ready for connections. I have kept the strip length to about half an inch. If you are not sure about how much wire you need to strip, you can check the back side of the switch and you will find the strip gauge here. Connecting the ground terminal of the switch. I connected the pigtail to the green ground screw of the switch. Make sure that the top marking is upright. The black wire from this light is connected to this black terminal of the switch and this was that wire. The red and black traveler wires, they are connected to the brass screws. I will keep the red on the right side. The black traveler wire goes to the left side. Push the wire under this brass strip and tighten the screw. You can also make a hook, wrap it around the screw and tighten it, whichever way is convenient to you. This black wire is the line wire. It is bringing in power to the switch. I will connect that to the white wire from this 14 tree. It will take the current to the next switch. To indicate that this white wire is carrying the current, I will wrap some black tape around it. I'll do the same on the other side as well. Next, I will connect the second three-way switch. Make a small loop. Connect the ground terminal first. As I connected the black traveler wire on the left side, I will connect this black on the left side. And the red traveler wire goes to the right side. Now this white wire is actually hot wire. This is not neutral. I have used black tape here to indicate that this is hot wire. This wire is connected to the black screw here. Now that the connections are done, Let's take another look at how we connected the two switches. In the first three-way switch, this black terminal is connected to the black wire from this 14 2, which is going to the light fixture. The two brass terminals, one on this side and the other on this side, they are connected to the red and black wires from this 14 3. The white wire from the 14 3 is connected to the black hot wire from this 14 2 which is bringing in power. So in fact the power is first going to that switch and then coming back to this switch. All grounds are connected with the Vago lever nut connector and the existing white wire from this 14 2 is connected to the white wire from this 14 2 which is going to the light fixture. In other words 
the white neutral from this 14 to and this 14 to they are connected together. The white neutral is not going to the next switch. In the second three way switch, the black terminal is connected to the white wire which is actually hot indicated by this black tape and the two brass terminals one on this side and one on this side they are connected to the red and black traveler wires from this 14 3 and that completes the circuit. There is no change to the existing 14 2 wire going from the first switch box to the light and there is also no change to the incoming 14 2 wire which brings in power to the first switch box. I will now push the wires in and tighten these screws to the switch box. If you are using a metal box, it would be advisable to wrap these terminals with black insulation tape. Now it's time to turn on power from the circuit breaker and check that the wiring is correct and the new three-way switches are working as desired. Power is on, so let's check. First switch on, off. Second switch on, off. On from here, off from here. On from here, off from here. Now this light can be controlled from two lo different locations. On, off, on, off off on off all good the wiring is good the connections are correct so this is how we can control a light from two different locations instead of just one or to change our single pole switch to three-way switches this project is complete i hope this video is useful it is helpful if i have made any mistakes or if you have any questions or comments if you want me to cover any other topic or if you have any other different scenario in mind, let me know in comments below. That's all for today. I'll see you next time. Until then, please take care.